In the field of embryology, the Quran describes the various embryological stages of the human development in great detail in Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 12 to 14. It says that the human we were nutfa, then we made it into an alaka, a mudga, a zama, that human being is created from a minute quantity of fluid. Then it made it into alaka, that is a leech-like substance, then made it into a chewed-like lump, then made it into bones, then clothed the bones with flesh. When this verse was showed in the early part of the 1980s to Dr. Keith Moore, who at that time happened to be the highest authority in the field of anatomy and embryology, he was the head of the department in the University of Toronto. He said that the description of the Quran is far superior to what modern embryology describes today instead of stage one, two, three. And he said that it's not possible that any human being can mention these things in the Quran. This Quran has to be the word from Almighty God, and he has no objection in accepting Prophet Muhammad as the messenger of Almighty God.